on the 9th of August each year, right here on, almost said Cape Town TV, <laughs> oh, in South Africa as a whole, we celebrate the women um, that make this country what it is. It could be your mother, your sister, your very best friend, your boss, your employee, whoever it is. So make sure that you treat them well, love them, respect them, and take care of every one of them. Usually on Fridays, we bring you the top three. Well, this coming Friday, we do things differently. We're celebrating every woman in every sphere. Um, we are South Africa, there are scientists, there are actors, there are movie directors, they are um, doctors, they are entrepreneurs. We're gonna be bringing them right here. Go ex, uh, is gonna be in the building. CM Biguana is gonna be in the building. I'll be chatting with them. Kim Blanchard is gonna be chatting with them. So make sure that you do not go too far because Friday, it's gonna be nice. So in top three, we are not gonna have it this week um, on Friday, it's coming back next week. Speaking of women who are doing great things for the country, well, um, the K. Mason Foundation is a small nonprofit organization providing schooling and social um, support to deserving disadvantaged children with great potential. To talk more about that and explain what the NPO does um, is Nolene by the Yellow Couches. Welcome her to the show. Hey. Hey, Nolene. Thank you so much for being with us, guys. She is this, this foundation actually started in 1999. It's been running for 20 years now. Nolene, thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy and excited that you are here. Um, as I've mentioned just now, it's running for um, 20 years now. Tell me about the, the, the build up until from then until now. Thank you so much for having us here today <laughs> and for the opportunity, yeah. first of all. <laughs> It's really been an awesome 20 years. I've only been there for the last seven years. Oh, it okay. was started by Richard Mason, who's a South African, mm -hmm. and who's a renowned author and internationally well-known mm -hmm. for the books he wrote. And he wanted to make a difference in South Africa. Yes. Um, and he really wanted to effect change and lasting change and narrow that opportunity gap. Yes. That is one of the biggest problems in, in South Africa. And therefore, he started the K. Mason Foundation yes. in memory of his sister. Oh, okay. And he took in four children in the first year. And now, in this year, we've got 50 high schoolers. Wow. We've got 50 junior scholars. And we have 300 grade sixes applying wow, to us. Wow, so that is amazing. It's expanded yes. so much yes, yes, over yes. the years. And I mean, um, it's, it's amazing how yeah. the growth is such a small idea to what it is now 20 mm. years later it's running true. i want to know how do you guys actually choose mm. the kids that you get to sponsor or s give them a scholarship mm -hmm. and teach them um mm -hmm. different things in life and obviously give them opportunities rather mm -hmm. um to move forward yeah. with our organization children actually should apply when they're in grade six oh, okay. not in grade seven although it's high school application yes or high school scholarship mm -hmm. yes um and then they apply they hand in the applications to us so they post their applications mm -hmm. and we let all the primary schools in our area of operation know that we are open for our yes. applications and then they apply then they go through a whole lot of assessments academic psychometric yes a load of tests <laughs> and interviews and we select 50 children to then join our junior oh program wow. that's when they grade seven yes okay. for that whole year the children come to class from nine o'clock in the morning till one o'clock in the afternoon where we 60 percent of the work we focus on academic performance uh -huh. mm -hmm. and we focus on math science and english first of all it as well and then 40 percent is focused on life skills development psychosocial development because at k mason foundation we believe in whole person development yes. Yes. and yes. not just being an academic su superstar yes. so you give them those subjects that we get to choose yes in grade eight yes yes we give all the classes we've got volunteer tutors and the other thing that we do is we also give support to them and only at the end of the year we mm. select the children who will then get the high school scholarship so wow. after high school they go and they graduate though right yes so what the, what do the graduates do after they are co they completed their, their schooling with you um, what do they give back to how do they give back to the community all our kids from grade seven yeah. onwards do volunteer work every single year oh wow, wow. and okay. many of our alumni actually started their own non-profit organizations giving back wow. and it's really because we focus on whole person development and you don't need to be somebody special to make life better for somebody else yes yeah. and and our children really believe it and that's what life is all about we can all make the world better so our, yes. our alumni are still involved with the organization mm. they come and give back they volunteer with the game and foundation you help well. them yes. do that that, that yes. is my story and, and i absolutely love that yeah. because mm. um the youth is our future and now yeah. that we're taking care of them and they're actually giving back as mm. well we're starting their own non-profit organizations and things like that but i want to know in terms of the schooling because you mentioned earlier that 
um, you let the schools know mm. in your area that applications are open. How, how do you choose the schools actually that yeah, you work yeah, with? Yeah. Is it just Western Cape or Cape Town? How does it work? We only work in the Western Cape, mm -hmm. quite a big area in the Western Cape. And the high schools that we place the kids at must have a 65% plus bachelor's pass rate, wow, not just okay. normal pass rate. Good norms and values, good discipline, and also focus on sport, cultural, and whole yes. person development. And yeah. that's how we assess the high schools. Oh, wow. So, Lama, you can't just say, this is the high school, <laughs> this is the high school. There's actually a whole process behind it, and I love <coughs> it. What do you think? I want, I'm not thinking anything. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Nolene, no, I want to find out, what's your blueprint? What sets you apart from other scholarships? Because I believe e Mason is unlike others. Yes. Mm. We definitely are different from other organizations, and I think it's because love. We mm. really have a very close bond with all our kids. We know them personally. We know what's going and happening on or going on in their, in their households. And it's like a family when you join mm. the K. Mason Foundation as a scholar or as a volunteer or yes. as somebody working at the organization. And that is what sets us apart. And our children, who are tremendous. I mean, we've got doctors, lawyers, so many different um, careers that our, our children chose yeah. after school, but it's the type of people that exits the K. Mason Foundation that makes us so proud. I love that. Oh, I love wow. that. So you guys do in, um, in, um, check-ins with, you, with your students and you, you have like your small interventions with them. And that's amazing, that is. guys. That's really amazing. It is, because most of the time it's a scholarship <laughs> and they're just like, okay, you're getting it done, yes, do you think? Yes, do you think, yes. But, but they're actually taking them from in. day to day. Wow, that's amazing. And they need to work very hard, I the think. Yeah, our our yeah. kids have loads of tenacity. <laughs> <laughs> What more could you add to give us um, into uh, what the foundation is doing? Something that we do not know, the views do not know, that they would actually like be keen on knowing um, more about this, the, 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 the foundation which you guys are. I think that a big part of our work are, is the psychosy, social yeah. development services, and we've got specialized programs. We need more buddies, and that's okay. individuals or households that's yes. willing to buddy up with our children so that we can expand their life experiences. Yes. We need more volunteers at the organization. Awesome. Oh, um, okay. And our kids want to go on outings and yes. uh, things like that because it's all about life experiences and growing as of a person. Course. Yes, of yes. course. So if there's anybody out there that wants to assist, that would be will, uh, willing to help our yes. kids. That would be and, awesome. and speaking about that, there might be someone watching and thinking, okay, I'm free and I love working with kids as well. Mm. How do they get a hold of you? Is there social media? Do we go to a website to give you a call? And is there any requirements for me to be a volunteer? Should mm. I be tall or as funny as Lama? <laughs> 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 no, you can you can just call us or you can go to our website and I'll get the number now and we do police screen every single oh, person okay. that gets involved and works with the children. That's quite important. Okay. And even for donors, if they want to get involved because we are a non-profit organization, yes. Yes. we would really appreciate somebody just joining and, and supporting yes. a specific oh. child and walking a, a road with them. Our number is 917-1853. And our website they can also visit, which is www.kmf.org.za. Awesome. Thank awesome. you so thank much you for thank everything you you're so doing. Much. And yeah. it's lovely having <coughs> you, man. That was Nolene for the Cambridgeian um, Foundation. You can get hold of him um, with our platforms. I've been Kalele Ngazo. And to her and every other woman, keep on doing what you're doing. And happy Women's Month.